One of the highlights of visiting Washington is going to the National Mall and the museums of the Smithsonian. But there's one museum you won't find on any tourist map. Here's our Power Player of the Week. It's always been called the best museum you've never seen. Tony Hiley is curator of the CIA Museum, a fascinating collection of gadgets and artifacts from U.S. spycraft. It's closed to the public, but on the day a new officer is sworn in, it's one of the first stops. At 2.30 that afternoon, you'll be with us in the museum. That's your first introduction to the history of the agency, and the museum is where we touch that history such as the Office of Strategic Services that employed 14,000 operatives to help fight World War II. Richard Helms, then a young OSS officer who later became CIA director, was in Hitler's bunker in Bavaria on the day the Germans surrendered. This is a, a piece of Hitler stationery that somewhere Richard Helms picks up while he's in Germany, and on VE Day, he sends this to his three-year-old son. Exactly. And look at the last sentence. The price for ridding society of bad is always high. Love, Daddy. There are all kinds of devices, from a fake rat used to hand off secrets in Moscow, to a catfish drone to penetrate enemy waters. Here we have our well-dressed spies. She may have small sub-miniature document copy cameras hidden in cigarette packs in her purse behind her brooch. And his pipe is actually a receiver for secret transmissions. This is 1960s technology. And there are the trophies from the War on Terror. None bigger than the 7 to 1 all-source intelligence scale model of the Bin Laden compound in Pakistan. Exact replicas of this model were used to brief the president and the assault team. I think we got the best feedback we ever could have hoped to receive when every single one of the assault team returned alive. And then they said we felt like we'd been there before. This work saved lives. Of course, they didn't know what they were going to see inside the building because you couldn't... Could you? You're giving me an odd look. That, that we can't talk about. And now tell me about this. But right there is the automatic rifle that was next to bin Laden when the Navy SEAL team took him out. There are 25,000 pieces in the collection. Some are still classified and only 5% are on display. Tony Hiley says the purpose is to record remarkable accomplishments most of us will never know about. One of the officers who had made some of the history that we captured in the gallery came up to me and threw his arms around me and said thank you for doing this for us. That's why we do what we do. It helps our officers see that their sacrifice, that their contribution to the national security of our nation is recognized. There is a way to see some of the artifacts from the CIA Museum. 148 items are on display online at CIA.gov. Others are on loan to the Reagan Presidential Library and Museum in Simi Valley, California, through early March.